What's up Rangers? Welcome back with another one. Guys, today in this episode I'm extra excited because I'll tell you the reason why. This house is such a time capsule. It's got everything left behind. I'm going to show you from top to bottom what it's all about and look at this. I actually found a rifle. This beautiful, beautiful rifle inside this house. I'm going to show you guys this place from top to bottom. So let's mask up, explore, get ready. In life, unexpected challenges can hit us hard. For one family, the tranquility of their home was shattered when Grandma fell ill. Grandma was the cornerstone of this family. Her warmth and wisdom binding them together. But illness knows no bounds. As her condition worsened, the family faced a dilemma how to care for grandma while managing their own lives. With heavy hearts, they made a difficult decision. Leaving their beloved home behind, they set out on a journey into the unknown. Abandoning their house wasn't an act of abandonment, but a sacrifice made out of love. Sometimes, the hardest choices are the ones made for family. Join me as I navigate the highs and lows of life's journey, where every twist and turn teaches us the true meaning of family. What's up, Rangers? So before we begin today's episode, I want to tell you that I would like you to join my Patreon page. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash Ranger Rick TV. And by your pledge of $2 a month, you'll receive a simple thank you by me in the tier one package. For $5 a month in the tier two package, I'll feature your name in the ending credits in each video, plus a simple thank you as well. If you do not wish to pledge, that's okay. Thanks anyway. Now enjoy the show. The midday sun filtered through the overgrown trees, casting intricate patterns of light and shadow on the forgotten path leading to Grandma's house. As I approached the weathered front door, I could smell the scent of abandonment and decay in the air. It had been years since anyone had set foot inside this place. Years since Grandma had passed away, and the house had been left or succumb to time. All right, guys, here we go. So if you know me, you know the routine and you know the drill. I want to make it feel like as if you were the owner of this house. How would it feel if you were the owner of this house? Coming in through this door right here, this is actually the back door. We're starting with the back door. The reason is because the front door is locked and this is the side door. So let's mask up. Let's see what we got. It's a little stuffy in here. It's a little mildewy. Not the best place for breathing. But let me show you what we got here. Let me back up. Actually, let's pretend like we're about to come through the back door. This is what we have here. Beautiful looking porch. I wouldn't necessarily say this is like a porch, but this is definitely like a, uh, what, like a sunroom or something? And like grandma will come out here with her cup of coffee from the house. She would sit down, drink her cup of coffee, maybe read the newspaper and sit back and relax. But something tells me it was more than just her living here. Might have been a family, but we can only speculate. 
Nothing's for sure. I do like these. It looks like some kind of uh, African statues or something. I'm not sure, but hmm. leave it down in the comments if you guys ever seen anything like this before. It's very intriguing. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I'm standing in the doorway right here. I just really want you to get a quick glance of what the sunroom actually looks like. It's very small, so I'm standing in like the farthest corner possible. But enough of the sunroom. I know what everybody wants to see is the main living room. This is the main attraction, y'all. So get ready. I am in love with this time capsule. <laughs> and that's exactly what it is. It's a time capsule from the past. The last calendar I can find in this place was from 1985. What? And look, there's a gun in here too. Didn't expect that, but there is a gun and it is right there. And that is a real gun. Is it fire? I don't want it. <laughs> what kind of gun is that? It looks like a musket. No, it is not a musket. It's something else. What is that thing? Huh. I don't want to mess with it too much, but it is very heavy. That's for sure. Wow, that is very heavy. Got a nice looking lot of furniture on it. Metal and wood frame. Let me try to zoom in on the etchings right quick so you can see these etchings. Maybe you guys can make it out because I cannot read that. It is way too tiny. That's what the etchings look like. Let me, let me flip it over real quick so you can see what's going on. That's the, that's the handle of it. The stock, trigger, a lot of rusted metal. It's got a big hole at the end of it, that's for sure. I don't know about you guys, but I have never seen a sofa like this before in my life. I am absolutely in love with this sofa. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is miraculous looking. Look, they got all the sheep on there and everything. Brighten that up a little bit. Look at that. All the sheep are on there. He's drinking water. The family's over there watching him, making sure tigers and stuff don't attack him. And that looks like it might be a picture of Jesus holding the lamb. Looks like they were a very religious family. Look at that. Turn that down just a little bit. There we go. Last Supper. I don't know what these pictures were. Looks like some bird pictures. What is this lamp doing here? It says price. Uh, okay, I know what the lamp is doing there, of course. It's an end table lamp, but it's got a price tag on of $8.97. So I guess they just kept the price tag on it, and it's from Roses. This is very cool looking. Yeah, you could tell they were a religious family. They got pictures of Jesus everywhere. There's some angels. This is damaged. No power, of course. Beautiful looking furniture. It's like you don't even see furniture like this anymore ever. Like, look at this. Look at the wood. What is this? This is like, I thought it was leather. It's like fabric or something. Almost feels like vinyl, but it's like fabric. Let's see what we have over here on this side. This is pictures of the family. Now, I don't think these people stayed here. I think it might have been uh, the grandma and her husband, and that's kind of it. And that, now this, these look really old. He had an afro and look at the, the glasses on her. This had to be from like the 70s or 80s, possibly the 80s, I'm guessing. That picture looks a little bit more recent, but not by much. Okay, if I had to put two and two together, I would say that woman right there is this woman right here in the photo. Unless it's mother and daughter, I don't know. But that looks a lot younger than her. Not by much, but a little bit. Now let's see what else we can find in this room. Look at the, I'm telling you, you got the sofa right here, which matches 
what doesn't really match that, that's more like an accessory chair, like an accent chair. You got the sofa, but what does match is these two chairs right here. This one, and definitely this one right here, they both match. So whatever furniture store that these folks got this from, big shout out to that furniture store <laughs> for carrying such classy looking furniture. I tell you, it's a wild look. It's not for everybody, but it is nice in its own right. See, that's what I'm talking about, the, the front door right here. It's all like barricaded. You can tell they didn't want people coming in here. Since 1985. Wow. Is that a porcelain statue? Yeah, it's like made out of glass. Look at the old TV, y'all. Look at the old TV. Let me turn it down a little bit. Electro tune, remote control, quartz synthesizer. The buttons are so satisfying on these old ass TVs. This TV looks like it was from the 70s. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Color Pilot. Yeah, when everything was made out of that plastic wood frame, you know it's from the 70s. Now this, this TV right here and the radio doesn't look original to the house. Well, it might have been, but this looks like it has been passed down from generations after generations. Possibly maybe 19... 40s, I'm guessing sometime around then, or 50s possibly. Guys, sometimes I don't get everything right. That's why I'm depending on you guys to leave it down in the comments. Here's some music. <laughs> that one doesn't open, nope. Let's see, what did they like to listen to? Let's check it out. Creed Records. If you don't know him by now, the Swansea Quintet. And that's the same thing. Let's see, these are record albums right here. Is this record album or books? Nope, this is, uh, let's see, The Best Stole Soulsters. What is this all about? I love the font. <laughs> Look at that. Man, this is like going super way back in time. Now this is more like the 70s maybe. Leave it down in the comments guys if you recognize any of these artists. Because this is what they like to listen to. It's all right there. Let's put that back. Because I don't want to take the whole video and make it all about the music. It's more about the house. Look at that. Old record player. And look at this timepiece right here, this clock. I love that style and I love that look. Look at that. Isn't that nifty? That is too sweet. Look at that. I love that. Bless this house, O oh Lord, we pray. Make it safe by night and day. Moving this thing out the way, look at this. This is a heater, a gas heater. It looked like it heated the house, but Wait, oh, I love these little statues like this. You don't see these too often. But the, look, these little black figurines right here with the red dress on, looks like Aunt Jemina. <laughs> no, but I like those, those are cool. All right, let's go, hold on. Let's go over here and see what we got over here. We didn't explore this part yet. We explored that, but what about this? Here's a little kitty cat. It's part of a vacuum cleaner right there, it looks like. Old golfers never die. They just, what does that say? Ro lose their balls. <laughs> they just lose their balls. <laughs> this one says, that's a thermometer that says a funeral home on it. Hmm, I wonder why. Maybe the lady that owned it kind of passed away, I guess. Maybe, who knows? These are all the children right here. Look at that. And look, this lady right here has got to be the same lady that's right here and right here. Give a shout out in the comments if you think I got that right, because I think I did. Pushing the creaking door open, I stepped into a dimly lit living room 
my footsteps echoing against the wooden floorboards underneath the carpet. Dust sparkled in the air, caught in rays of sunlight that filtered through the cracked windows. The musty scent of neglect enveloped me, intertwining with the faint aroma of grandma's homemade apple pie. Every corner of this house seemed frozen in time. Pictures covered the walls, frozen smiles captured in fading photos. The living room laying in a frozen state, the furniture draped in dust as if it was awaiting the return of inhabitants long gone. I traced my fingers along the contours of the armchair where grandma used to sit and her knitting needles clicking softly as she crafted intricate patterns in her blankets. Hi right, guys, making it into the hallway. It's a pretty uh, wide hallway. Let's take a look at it and see what we got. See, there's another heater. That's what I don't get. They had a heater in the front and a heater here too. This one actually like, it looks like it belongs to the house and it heated the whole house. Here's a picture of Martin Luther King Jr. The King of the South. I don't know what those are, but they look kind of cool, I guess. These old switch dials like this, look how old this is. So satisfying, but they do not work anymore. Here's the holster to the gun. Look how long that is. Here's some old spoons. You know, these things are probably worth a grip. These spoons right here, they're probably worth a decent amount of money. You should just clean them up a little bit and that's it. All right, y'all, let's, uh, well, since we're in this hallway, Let's keep discovering what we can find in here. Yeah, this is the calendar that I'm talking about. The little Chinese cat calendar. I guess it's Chinese. 1985 on that one. That is the oldest one I can find here. You know what else sucks? I really want to get in the attic, but they locked it up. Can y'all see that? They put a screw in it, so I can't get up there, but I bet you it's a time capsule up there too. Oh, look at the old doorbell. Look at that. That's cool. I don't know why they would put a chair right here in the middle of the hallway. I don't think anybody's going to chill out in the hallway. Unless this was somebody's room too. John F. Kennedy picture right there. Portrait of him. Old J.C. Penny catalog. Some old tapes. Look at that mothballs. This is when you know a person's like kind of older. For some reason, they always love to collect mothballs. But that's what it is. Tell me that in the comments, y'all. Why do elderly folks love mothballs so much? I don't get it. I guess it's the same reason why young people like smartphones so much and TikTok and all that stuff, right? <laughs> it's just the thing, you know what I mean? I gotta fall somewhere in between that. When the days of Super Nintendo came out, those were the good old days. Look at the green bathroom, y'all. I'm talking about anything and everything but the bathroom. Let's get a shot of the shower head. Two shower heads. Look at that. They made it popular with the two shower head combination. Got a nasty green tub with a dead rat. Looks like a rat in there anyway. What else do we have in here? Nothing really. Um, just a just a hodgepodge of bacterial soap and that's it what is in here towels and shave cream and shit i love them asylum mint green tiles here's some attention to detail through the hallway, I passed by closed doors of the bedrooms. 
each holding memories within its walls. The scent of lavender lingered in the air, a gentle reminder of Grandma's possible favorite perfume. I couldn't help but feel a sense of sadness mixed with the fondness as I imagined the laughter that once filled these rooms. The stories shared and the secrets whispered. In the kitchen, utensils still hung from the hooks. Pots and pans lay scattered across the countertops, as if waiting for the next family gathering. The dining table stood solemnly in the center, adorned with the fading tablecloth and mismatched chairs, where they possibly shared countless meals and heartfelt conversations. In this bedroom, let's see what we can find in it because I think this is the master bedroom. Had to be. It's like a queen mattress in here, and the house is not that big. Turn up that brightness a little bit so you can see what's going on. Yeah, that's the elderly lady who who lived here. I think. I think. I'm not sure, but we can always speculate what's going on. Also found her driver's license, of all things, in here. Yep, kind of figured that would be in here. Here's a tackle box. Wow. That's a lot of driver's license in there. Holy, good Lord. Found the mother load on that. It's a cool looking fan. Doing fan things. All right, let's start digging around and see what we got to find, I guess. Let's see. Let's turn that good old trusty light on. Any other things in here? Give a shout out to the Vaseline, giggity. Everybody needs Vaseline one day, you know what I'm saying? Nothing. Mm, I got some stuff in there. Baby powder and stuff. Ugh. Oh, it's like stuck. Nothing too much, but what is in here? Oh, look at this purple velvet bathrobe in there. That's cool. I love that. Can we open this? No, we cannot. That is locked. Look at that Barbie doll up there. Not a Barbie doll, but I bet you it's worth something. All this old stuff is worth something. Hold on, I'm tripping real quick. Ugh. Gotta get around this. Ah! Here's an old answering service machine. An old Casio watch. Is that a Casio watch? No, it is a Crown watch. Never heard of that brand before. Yeah, look at that old answering machine right there. That is old, y'all. Whole bunch of phone numbers so the lady don't forget to remember them. They're all written down right here. L-O-L. <laughs> I really thought these were New Orleans Mardi Gras bees at first. <laughs> it's just old jewelry. Just jewelry. Let's scurry on over here. Let's see what we got through here. Ugh, rat droppings. Rat droppings in that one. And just a bunch of books. Cool looking baseball. Look at that. Ugh got stuff on it. Pioneer model BC 202M. This had to be something for the TV, although I'm not sure. Well, it's fine tuning, it says. Had, had to be for the TV. Let's look in here. Can't go in there. What is that? Oh, I think your mothballs went in there. Meldew odor control. Ew. Yeah, you could tell this lady or whoever lived here, very religious people. Nothing wrong with that. Got to do what you got to do. Everybody has their own beliefs. And this is the bed she once laid in. Picture of Jesus right there. Anything in the closet? What is this thing? Here's a picture of something. Yeah, there's nothing there. No, nothing. 
getting some clues. Looked like she was handicapped. As I was recording, I saw this red jay just land right there. Oh, look, he's right here, he's right here. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? I think he ran off or flew off, I'm sorry. It was a red jay that just landed like right there. Pretty cool. Let's break it up a little bit. I'm tired of exploring bedrooms first. Let's go ahead and do the kitchen because here it is in all of its grace and glory. First thing you see when you come in here, one of the first things I saw anyway, is this pantry filled with outdated food galore. Oh, look at all, pickling spice. Ugh. Can of sardines, fried apples. Well, it looks like it was good at one point in time. I'll tell you what, I'm curious. Let's take a look at these and let's see the expiration date. Best Buy, December 19th, 2008. Here's a shot of the table, the kitchen table. I thought that was shotgun shells, but it's not. It's something else here. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's like transit, uh, for electrical, electrical stuff. But for what? I don't know what they were working on. Beautiful looking china piece right here. Or a curio cabinet. Nice. Well, no, I don't really have to open it. We can see what's in there anyway. Unless they're hiding something, which I doubt. Some bobby pins. Sewing equipment. Beautiful stuff, beautiful, beautiful stuff. It's an old McDonald's bag rotting away. Cause that's what McDonald's does, right? Rot you away. Looks like a baby stool or something. Let's see, what else do we have over here? Kitchen cabinetry right here. A little lantern. Well, a little genie bottle, I'm sorry. Uh -huh, I like the turkey. Look at that. <laughs> You're finding all kind of cool stuff in people's houses. It's all meaningless, but to them, you know, it meant a lot or whatever, for whatever reason. Cups and stuff, nothing too important. Every time I take a step, on this floor it feels like i'm stepping on memory foam but b below me is all wood it's a wooden floor beneath the tile so that tells me this house ain't gonna be here too much longer it's all warped and wet it's a tear me down house for sure is the clock still ticking nope it is not that'd be pretty freaky if it was though ha whoo might have to get the hell out of here look at this Old spice rack. That's what's up. Anything in this cabinet? Whoa, we got a whole oh, look at that salt. Look at the salt. That's like something you would see in a movie or something. Look how old that is. That looks very cinematic, huh? Jeez. An old oil canister. All right, guys. <laughs> Here we go. I really don't want to do this to this old house. 1985. Here we go. <sighs> Here we go, 1985. Oh my god! Oh, who the smell? It's still sm boy, it smells so. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! My oh, oh. That'll make you sing. For all the wrong reasons. Oh man, I gotta catch my breath. That stinks so bad. Oh my God. All right guys, we're back. I apologize about that nonsense, but we had to do it. I had to do it. I had to see what was inside the fridge since 1985. And that's what it is. Look at that. All right, this, oh my God. It's the smell is, is coming in this bedroom and the kitchen's way around the corner. All right, let's continue here. We gotta get this done, y'all. Time is money, money's time. And enjoyment is enjoyment. All right, this is the guest room. This is what we can see in the guest room. Not too much going on in here. No, I don't think so. No, it's just basic stuff. Your basic bedroom stuff. Nothing crazy of interest. There's some glasses down there. That's kind of cool looking. It's about as much as I'm going to touch, though. Here's some more stuff up here. Oh, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Shotgun shells. Those are 12 gauge, 12 gauge shotgun shells. 
That's cool. That's some medicine. Uh, what is this? Take one tablet twice daily. Well, what medication is it? GA, I'm sorry. The name of the medicine is G U A I F E N E S I N D M. I don't know what this is. I don't know. Leave it down in the comments, y'all. Look, look at that old Polaroid back there just chilling out. Looks like their backyard, which we'll check out in just a minute. Let's check out the inside first, because I'm very intrigued here. Oh, look, the old lady's hat. It still has the price tag on it. $3.99. That's what I'm talking about. $3.99. What else is in here? This is so fascinating to see all this. It's That's basically what it is. It's a time capsule from the past. Ooh, 1985. That was actually about to come out. Nothing. Typical stuff. Looked like she'd like to read a lot of magazines and stuff. Why is that here? Y'all see that? That note hanging right there? That can cause a fire. There's a shot of the closet. I'm not gonna go through all that stuff. It actually just looks like cotton swabs, toiletry stuff. Nothing too crazy. What is, else is in here? Uh, some old radio equipment. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. All right, let's uh, take a look in the next room and see what we find. All right, y'all, back inside the hallway. This is the last room. All right, I really want to. I really want to get you guys acquainted with the house. This house is very simple and easy to understand. That's the front room where we came in at. Now, when you enter the hallway, you do have a couple options. Go here, you can take a left, you can take a right, cabinets, toilet area, bathroom, and then finally, we're gonna finish up with this room. This is the last room, guys, here we go. I hate, hate, hate artificial light. But sometimes, like right now, we gotta use it. Hard to breathe in this mask, but you gotta wear a mask if you wanna explore a place like this. I see Christmas decor, Christmas ribbons. Nothing screaming my name yet. This room will probably be the most bland of them all. So if I spoke too soon. Look at that. That is beautiful. This is why I like urban exploring. You see stuff like that. Look how beautiful that is. It's a little model car. It's a little model car. Let's pick it up. Oh, it's a toy. I thought this was actually like a model. No, this is a toy. Put the batteries in it and there's a little speaker right there. This must be some kind of gentleman's room or something. Wait, hold on. This had to be like a young man's room or something. You know why? Look at this. Whoever had this room loved collecting colognes. Look at all the smell good stuff in here, y'all. A lot of Old Spice, a lot of Polo. What is that down there? Wow, he loved collecting colognes. We even have this one right here. This one's called Burley. Floor, what is it? Oh, it's like books or something. Oh, shit. All this stuff's about to fall over. Let's be careful. Old furniture. Here we go. Eh, nothing else, really. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's uh, old English leather cologne, I think. I'm not going to go through it, but uh, you get the gist. Uh, let's see. Can we get it? Uh, nothing there. There's an old football. It is extremely tight and hard to move around in this place. Guys, what is this? Let me know in the comments. No, not that thing, this thing. It's green and round. Is that for your hair? I don't know, like leave it in the comments. I have no idea. And what is in here? 
Oh, that's some nice looking leather jackets. Beautiful. This had, yeah, this is a gentleman's room. I'm thinking it's a family lived in here at one point. <clears throat> All right, so here's the back door. I don't want to go in the backyard yet, but I'm getting there. This is the final room I'm probably going to show you till we make our way outside and look at the cars. One of the first thing you see, and this is a beautiful clock. Look at the clock. It's got grapes on it and fruit. An old refrigerator out here. I'm guessing they might have used this for like an ice box. To store some optional food. General Electric. It's so tight in here. What is behind these curtains? Wow. That's a lot of dirty laundry. We got a lot of work to do in here, my friend. All right, what is... Oh, that is so sad. The elderly people that probably lived here, they were washing their clothes for one another and they just, this is the final time they hung them up. All the gloves, all the pants and shirts and blouses. And they just left it all behind. There is the shed in the back. So let's go take a look at it and the cars. And I will leave you guys with that. And we got a shot of this old Cadillac out here. Look at that with the boat. This place is loaded, y'all. Here's the garage. I'm not gonna spend too much time in it, but just to give you an idea of kind of what they were working with in here. Just basic yard tools and stuff like that. Not too, it smells like gasoline and a mixture of diesel fumes in here. So not too much going on. Standing in the quiet stillness of the abandoned house, I felt a mixture of emotions wash over me. Sadness for the passage of time for the lost loved ones, but also gratitude for the memories that lingered in every corner. Grandma's house may have been abandoned, but it still held pieces of her spirit, fragments of life that would forever be cherished in the hearts of those who had known and loved her. As I prepared to leave, I whispered a silent goodbye to the house that held so much history knowing that, while it may have been left behind, the memories it held would have lived on, a timeless reminder of the love and laughter that once filled its walls.